Hello guys, welcome to my new editing tutorial. And in this editing tutorial, we will take our renders from our last uh, tutorial where we lighten this robotic arm. And yeah, I have here some examples of the raw uh, rendered images which we got, uh, got. That looks something like that. It's, look, it's looking already very amazing, but we will recreate like those those styles here like it's just so amazing and it's so fast and easy in photoshop and yeah you can spend so much time and having so much uh, fun with it and um, yeah we will make it like really pop and and this like kind of sci-fi robotic uh, f future super futuristic and like super super luxury style and that's only with Photoshop camera raw filter and some uh, little extras you will learn. For example, in that case, like here, everything is the same sharpness, but here we have even we uh, add the depth of field, like this blurred part here in the background, we made it everything in, in, in Photoshop. So yeah, that you will learn today. You will learn just my general progress, like and my thoughts on on, um, on, 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 on what to look, how to work, how, yeah, <laughs> you will see it, guys. So, yeah, just have fun and let's just uh, jump right into uh, Photoshop. Okay, guys, welcome to Photoshop. And those are the, the raw images which came out of Octane, but yeah, we can do much, much more out of them. So you see that's here too dark and yeah, it's the colors are not popping. Here it's also a little bit too dark. So, and you see like the, the, the colors and the brightness is just everywhere a little bit different. So yeah, let's work on it. And yeah, we go to the first render pass Photoshop file and we delete everything what we don't need. But ambient occlusion is always good because if we put it in multiply mo mode, you see we have much more like a uh, shadow, but that's too much. So we just bring the opacity a little bit down, something like that. And yeah, now we can make like the magic happen. So we go to our beauty pass and just uh, render, uh, right click and convert to smart object because everything what we add to that layer will come into the smart object and we can always come back to it and just adjust and edit it. So we go to filter and camera raw filter. Yeah, and the first thing that I want to do, I want a little bit more of a blue tint, like a little bit more like of a techno te technological like style. I don't know, like we just go to really just a little bit, just minus two or something. Like if you go too much, you see it's getting too blue, just a little bit, maybe minus three or something. Yeah, that looks good. Um, we have to bring the uh, exposure definitely much more up. Also the, the contrast, the highlights we have to see, but if we bring them too much up, you see we, it's just getting white surfaces. So we don't want it. So we bring it a little bit more down and bring the exposure a little bit more up. So we have brighter image, but also the same uh, details. With the shadows, we also bring the shadows a little bit down because yeah, the shadows here and there and here, they are just a little bit too dark. So we just bring them a little bit up, not the highlights, the shadows. And yeah, the whites maybe a little bit up and the blacks a little bit more down. So yeah, we have a nice contrast. And already you see guys, so much better. So yeah, we always have, not always, but in this case, just a little bit of texture and clarity. So we have like here, like for example, oh, that, that rubber looks so, so good. So we just want it a little bit more pop and like also the cables here and like the rough map here. So yeah, we can close the basic and I want the blues a little bit more saturated. So we just go to the color mixer, saturation, take the blues and just crank them a little bit more up. So they are just a little bit more punchy, you know? And also what I'm always doing is going to effect and the grain. So if we bring the grain too much up, you see, it's just like, like kind of bad quality or something. Sometimes that's the look you want to go, but like this product 
kind of product shot is like super modern and super technology. So we want it more clear, but we still want a little bit of grain because like if you're asking, like if we turn uh, activate it and deactivate, you see we have a little bit of grain, but I'm always bringing grain into my uh, editings because I don't know why, but the, the grain just brings everything a little bit more together. It's it's just it just looks like very yeah it's I don't know how to explain it it just brings everything a little bit like kind of together and also if you if you um, go into the real world and take a physical camera and make a shot like you always have a little bit of grain I don't know like maybe like I'm not so into photography but maybe I don't know the newest cams maybe you have very minimal grain but usually you always have a little bit of, of grain and that's just adding a little bit more of uh, realism. So, yeah, what uh, we also can do, like if you see this image, like this part here is maybe not so important like as the cables and the front part in, 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 in that particular case. So what we can do is just make this everything a little bit darker. So we go to the masking button here, linear gradient, and we just add a gradient, which goes like slowly away. And we just bring like every bright part a little bit down. We can go make even more to the front. So if we activate it and deactivate it and again, yes, that's, that's looking much better. Um, yes. And also maybe, so we have a nice contrast between back and, uh, back and forth. So we made a mode, we made this darker so we can make this maybe with the brush, create new mask and brush and just brush out just a little, little bit. Maybe make this a little, little bit. Oh, you see that those metal parts are also like, it's just, it's just popping, you know? So, yeah, maybe contrast. So if we activate our mask and deactivate, yes, that's, I think that's much better. And look, Without camera or raw filter, with camera, yeah, that's, oh man, it's, I don't know, it's, it's cool. Do you like it? So what we now can do is just add some more adjustments, just bring a curve layer, clip it to the, to the, to the, to our beauty layer and just bring the bright parts here, like always the S curve, it's most of the cases working. Just make the bright parts a little bit brighter and the dark parts a little bit darker. So in other words, we just bring even more contrast. So yes, it's, it's, it's just, yes, I like it. I like it. That, that looks, yeah, that looks very good. Oh, and uh, now what we can do is um, because for example, if we go to the next image, you see it's, it's it's the same style. It's it's a uh, it's a different uh, angle and um, but yeah, it's the same object. It's, it's the same kind of lighting. So what we can do? So we don't have to, uh, again adjust like every value the same in the camera raw filter, like for seven minutes or so. We can just save those uh, settings we make here in the camera raw filter as a setting. So we go to the camera raw filter of the image we just edited, go to more image settings button here and just save settings. Uh, that's everything good enough. And we just save all the settings as, I don't know, like 0 0.1. And yes, I, I have it in that case already. So you just save it and you can go again to OK. And yes, so we can go to the next one. And again, it comes like that. And yeah, we don't need the reflection, not the shadow and not the diffuse. So we can just put it here on the, on the, on the bottom, bring that everything into a group. So we just have that what we need. Oh, sorry guys. We forgot, of course, the, in the first image, like the bloom, like something like that. 
And yes, it comes in normal, but we bring it into the screen or light mode. Just look what you like more. And I like it, but I don't want to hear so much bloom. And I want it a little bit more that it pops to that light. So we just go to the post processing, add a levels adjustment layer, clip it just to the bloom and just bring the black a little bit down and the whites a little bit. So we'll just bring a little bit more contrast in. And if we pull the black triangle, you see like the radius, like the distance of the effect just gets a little bit smaller. So without and with, yeah, that looks very crisp, maybe I would say. So, and also like, I don't want it here and I don't want it at those parts because we make them darker, you know? So we just go to our layer here and just create a mask, press B for brush. And just with opacity 10% and harden the zero so we can blend it very smoothly with black as a foreground color, we just paint those a little bit back, you know, we still need this because otherwise it would be unrealistic, uh, but just we make it uh, less. And the same for here again with black color, just paint a little bit in those areas. You see, it's just a little bit, but it's effective and maybe even more here because it's still too much. So oh, we have to activate it. So yes, that maybe not so much here. So I just want that blue light here. So yeah, like that's without everything and that's with the effects. And I like that very much. So we can uh, go, uh, we save it. So yeah, we go to the next one and we have it here and we can just apply that settings to here and then make small adjustments. So we convert it into a smart object. We go to filter, we go to Gaussian, uh, no, sorry, camera raw filter. And Guys, first of all, what we can do before, that's also a nice technique you can learn. I want a little bit, I forgot it, like in, in Octane, make the background a little bit more blurry and the foreground is sharp. So we have just a depth of field, but that those parts are more in focus and those parts are less in focus. So what we have to do is um, we have to create a depth map. Uh, you can also, I forgot it, but you can also, when you make like an octane, the different render passes always enable the Z, uh, Z depth or Z pass. So you get a grayscale of the depth of the image. So we don't have to make it like manually now with a gradient or something or even selections, but we have it already directly from octane. But in that case, it's, it's very easy. So white is in focus, black is out of focus. So we can just create that. I want this part in focus and this here without. So something like that, just really, just maybe, just, just maybe really just a little bit, you know? So we go to that mask here and go to channels and uh, so I did it already before. So. You have those four uh, channels and you just drag and drop into a plus and make a copy and call it, uh, I don't know, like depth mask. Uh, oh no, uh, sorry guys, I can't delete it because uh, yeah, so you only have those four here and you just drag and drop into a plus and rename it, I rename it in that case like death uh, depth map like two and again activate our four here and just deactivate the depth map so it's just there but not activated so where's our mask sorry guys so again like yeah something like that depth map two sorry it's just for me 
because you had it already. So yeah, we have that is selected as red and we can deselect it, the visibility. And now if we um, make a duplicate, a duplicate layer of our original beauty layer and rasterize it so it doesn't have to be a, a smart object, we can now go to the filter, blur, lens blur, and we can use as a source, source our depth map number two. And you see, that looks really what exactly what we uh, what we want. Um, why is it not working? Blur, lens blur, and yes, so exactly we use our depth map and you see you have already a little bit of here focus and there it's everything blurred and it's just gradually going out to focus and with the radius here you can play with the intensity like low radius is low blur and high radius is yeah as you can imagine it's very blurred but yeah 30 34 33 that's that looks for me very good and yeah, you, we have a little bit more focus uh, on that part. And what we can, uh, with our ambient occlusion, if we activate it again and bring it to multiply, so we have a little bit uh, of uh, shadows uh, there. We just bring the opacity a little bit down, but we also have to do this. Uh, no, that, uh, that's uh, everything good. So yeah, now, now, finally, we can go to our beauty pass and make all the, in a, uh, as a converted as a smart object, we can create all of our edits. And there, what we can now finally do, just take the settings from the previous one. So we go to the points here and load uh, settings and just use the what we, what you just uh, saved and boom you see it's 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 directly exactly kind of what we need mm. just uh, one second we have of course to do it with uh, with the blurred one so convert that to the smart object where we gave the effect so we can go to filter camera raw filter and yes, that's now blurred what we need. And again, load settings and add them here. And boom, we have something like that. And that's, I don't know, like <laughs> almost what we need. Maybe what we can do is uh, take the background and make it a little bit darker because yeah, it's, you know, it's blurred. So the eye has to go like here, but because the same is like the same, uh, everything is the same brightness, like the eye can't focus on the first part. So we just go to the masking and just linear grading and just add a nice big gradient and just make exposure much down the highlights down maybe even the shadows and the white so if we go a little bit back and deactivate you see it's boom it's instantly like this is not so interesting anymore because it's out of focus and a little bit darker and we have it more interesting here but I just want to make the mask <clears throat> sorry guys something something like that and I think that looks good maybe something yeah maybe create a new mask and the brush and just here a little bit more contrast a little bit more brightness just that really just as tiny bit so yeah, P without everything and P again to go back and forth. That looks, my opinion, very good. So yeah, we have something like that with the ambient occlusion. Yes, that brings a little bit more shadows. And then we can just, what we can also do is just bring the ambient occlusion and our beauty copy just a little bit more to the right because like this part is too um, too close on the edge. I just wanted kind of 
if we have again like our golden ratio you see that's like perfectly or just let me show show it to you if we have here the golden ratio and flip it horizontal and just to, to to our image it's you see guys it's like exactly what we want we have this this kind of curvature and it just brings the eye of the viewer to that part here like this is like the most important thing and that's also what is in the golden ratio so uh, in that example it's of course perfectly aligned so yeah i think we can save it and go to the next one like yeah what we created together this one here and yeah we have like a lot of depth of field in the very front and the very back and and yeah i forgot to make them in a metallic one but yeah anyways it's uh, it still looks kind of okay uh yes so we don't need diffuse reflection shadow we'll bring that down and bring everything here into a group with Control g and we have again our ambient occlusion we bring it to multiply and we are losing detail here so we just bring it way back just a little bit yeah some something like that and yeah we can directly go and convert our beauty into a smart object and just go to filter and again camera or filter and again we just bring our first settings here from the first one so save uh, load settings and just bring boom that's all oh, that it's i don't know it's so sci-fi technology uh, star wars future style and uh, yeah that's already pr pretty good maybe make this part here just a tiny bit darker so we just bring a gradient and just really just really a little bit darker so yeah that's already enough and yeah honestly i like it already how it is um yeah maybe no honestly i like it so yeah we can just and you see uh, wow that's so good guys that's so good oh man i really forgot that part here to make metallic so maybe i have to render that again like everything out but yeah we will see because maybe it's kind of also cool but <laughs> I rendered like 15 passes already and I don't know. So yeah, um, we can bring our bloom and put it into a screen. And yes, that's definitely too much. So we bring the opacity way down, but you see it's just blurring out too much. So we can try it to adjust it with the levels and clip it just to that. And again, just bring the blacks. Yes, just bring the blacks down. So you see, we're just losing all that bloom, which is too much. And bring the whites, so the brightest parts, make them a little bit brighter. And maybe even more down of the blacks. So you see, like, um, with mask, I mean, with mask and without mask, maybe go or definitely go with the levels here a little bit. Oh, I mean, with this layer selected a little bit down. So we just have a little bit of bloom. And yeah, I think, I think, I'll, I think maybe we can make this part a little bit darker. So our focus shifts more to that part here, which is the most interesting. So we just go again to our camera raw filter and go to our masking area here and just take our mask and just just pull it a little bit and just make it darker so yeah something like that so 
light is still nice here, but we have something like that. And yeah, we can go to the next one. So we save it. Okay, so we can go to the next one and yeah, okay, we make one more. And guys, I definitely will render that everything out again. Like for the tutorial, that's that's, that's good enough. But yeah, for the final like uploading stuff, uh, I will render it again. And that's why I'm always saving like all that uh, render passes as well, even though they take so much uh, space. But especially in that case where I have like really cool render. So yeah, let's go to the ne next one. And again, we have all that stuff. And again, we have those three. We don't need them. Put them down, put them all into a group. So we have those. And this one is yeah, it's definitely too dark, but we put our ambient occlusion into multiply and just bring it way, way down. So we have a little bit of sh shadows. And yeah, again, just smart object, filter camera, raw filter. And Oh, what we can do, because I need a black background, um, because this is just the PNG I rendered it. I don't know if it's possible in the camera raw filter to make it blue. So guys, if, if, if you know if it's possible, just tell me. But in that case, what I will do, I just duplicate it. So I have it uh, as a copy and I bring in with control click a new layer and just alt and backspace so that fills it the background in black and now i can select those two and Control e i just merge them and again just bring this into a smart object and again camera raw filter because it's just black background and it it, it, it will stay black and again just uh, load settings and here the first one and <laughs> guys that's that's so cool and what I'm seeing is that this part is a little bit without all the details. Maybe we can find them. Okay, so yeah, we don't have them. So we just stay and go back to camera raw filter. And okay, I don't like that part so much. But okay, you see guys, that's why it's always nice to make some uh, renderings like kind of final renderings so where you can find afterwards uh, like all that mistakes and then you can re-render it again and then really work on them for example here I would play some kind of light so I have those uh, grunge map here so yeah but we have something like that and I like it but bring in that case a little bit more exposure maybe even more highlights. So we just make it much brighter and definitely make the shadows here a little bit uh, brighter. And I like that look. And also I like that composition. Um, yeah, maybe I don't want to make that, uh, maybe just a little bit darker. So again, linear gradient, we just make that everything just a little bit that this time, maybe even longer. So yeah, we have something. Yeah, I like it more when it's a little bit darker and maybe we can make those parts here with a brush and a smaller size. Maybe just a little bit brighter, just a little bit to make it more pop. Yeah, something like that. Yes, I think I like it, yes. I like it, so we can just, of course you have to spend a little bit more time, but now for the tutorial it's good enough. So again, we bring back our ambient occlusion, go to our bloom layer, put it again in screen mode. And yes, that's definitely too much, so we bring down our opacity and again create a levels adjustment layer clip it to our bloom and just again bring down the blacks and bring up the blues a little bit 
So we have something like that, but I don't want so much bloom here and on this part. So again, we just create a mask and with the black brush opacity 10%, just make it a little bit less intense. Something like that. And I also don't like that this is here too much brighten up, but now I can work on it again. So perfect. So yeah, this is our original and this is with all the adjustments. And yeah, that's it. And you see it's, it's, you have to put the most of the time, like to the first one, and then you can just always just use those settings and just apply them to, to the next images. And yeah, if it's like the same kind of style, it's just, you, you saw it, it's just works perfectly well. And like all the colors and the brightness, everything is adjusted properly. Maybe make this even a little bit brighter and maybe make it a little bit more bluish because you see like those here, they just look a little bit more blue, but that's the thing, you know, and that's why I always like to have those uh, tabs here open because then I can just compare and just go back to that. And again, like adjust what I need here. And then at the end of the day, you know, like you made, for example, 15 passes, 15 renders, and I don't know, like maybe five of them looks really good. And I edit them and then I just compare them. So I just adjust them. So everyone is in the same style, like for example, this one, but I will go back to Octane and make this again, like metallic, you know, it's extra work, but like, I, I think maybe not even, not so many people recognize it, but it's just, you know, like if you do it, then you will learn it like to, to next time when you create something like that, to, to be more aware and maybe next time you don't forgot it. And it's, it's cool. It's like a back and forth process, you know, and it's never perfect from the first time when it comes out of the, of the render of Octane. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. If you liked it, leave a like and guys, like I saw in my statistics, 90% of you watching my videos are not subscribed, but guys, it's a win-win situation. I upload nice content where you learn a lot, so you don't uh, miss it. And yeah, I can grow and I can have just much more motivation and I see that you really enjoy it and make more of that kind of videos. And yeah, leave a like what you want to see and uh, I wish you a nice day and have fun with it.